What's up guys, it's Keith here. Today we're going to talk about a powerful Town Hall 8 attack. It's called Go Valo. Basically it's a combination of Golem, Valkyries and Balloon. This is one of the most powerful Town Hall 8 attack to date uh, on, if you're using it on the right base. Also, thanks to the December 2015 update, now this attack has become even powerful which I'll show you later. So before we go into the attack, let's just talk about the base criteria or the base feature that is suitable for a Govalo attack. And to help you in deciding whether it is a base that is suitable to use Govalo or not, I created a base feature checklist. In this checklist, there are three requirements. And every time when you look at a base, you refer to these three requirements. And if it were to fit, then most probably you can use a Govalo to get a 3 star out of this base. So the first question that you're going to ask yourself is, are all the air defense in a single compartment of walls? Uh, which is in this case, it fulfills the requirement. The reason you want this is so that when your Valkyries goes in, they can actually take out all the air defense together with any buildings within the same compartment. Hence, it is a yes for the first check. Now the second question is, all your quad quick or if you have four a quick spell, you must be able to open a path or create a path where you can send in your Valkyries and they are going to have easy access into the target compartment. In this case, if you were to see here approximately 2 o'clock position, if you were to drop your Earthquake spell between these walls, you'll be able to get an opening where you can easily send in your Valkyries. So that is a yes for requirement number 2. Now the third and the last requirement is to see that whether you can create a funnel so that your Valkyries will move straight into the core instead of wander around the base or we call going for shopping. So let's see from here, if you were to take out all these junk buildings here and release your Valkyries, they'll be able to move in and take out all the air defenses. So that's a yes for requirement 3. Now it's very important for you to go through these steps because it will help you find out whether this base is suitable or not. If not, you just jump straight into the attack, most probably that it will fail when you use it on the wrong base. But since now it, we know that it fulfills all the requirement, we'll go into the attack phase and see how you can execute the attack to get your 3 star. So this is the troop composition that you need to execute this attack. You're going to need two golems and a couple of wizards. They will help you create the white funnel for you to send in your Valkyries. Of course, you need to carry few Valkyries and some of them in your clan castle as high level as possible. Also, you need to carry a bunch of balloons. They will be coming in from the back end and clean up all those defenses. I don't recommend any numbers below 12. I also carry couples of barbarians and archers, and I'm planning on using them on killing enemy clan castle troops. Now, before the December update, we can only carry four a quick spell, one heal spell, and one poison to do this attack. But thanks to the update, we now can carry another additional dark spell in our clan castle. So what you're going to do is you're going to carry three earthquake spell with you, one in the clan castle, so it makes it four, and still have enough space to carry two heal spell in case of one, so that you can have additional protection for your Valkyries, so that they can take out all the air defense easily in this attack. Alright guys, let's look at the actual attack itself. The first thing you want to do is to lure out enemy CC troops and take them out. Most of the time you get a dragon and a balloon in the clan castle. They are very powerful against your Valkyries, your Barbarian King and your balloons. So you have to make sure you take them out first. Also at the same time, you're going to drop in your Earthquake spell and open up a path for your troops to go in. See how white is the opening that you can straight away send in your Valkyries to the target compartment. So now you drop in a couple of wizards to take out the dragon and the balloon. And once the enemy CC troop is down, you can start to send in your golems so that they can tank your wizard and you can use your wizard in the same time to create the funneling that you require and take out all these junk buildings so that when you send in your Valkyries, they will go straight into the target compartment instead of going shopping. Once all the trash buildings are taken out, you can start to send in your Valkyries. Notice that when you create a wide enough funnel, your Valkyries will always go in the direction that you want her to go. See how they actually rush into the target compartment and start attacking anything that is within that compartment. So you're going to drop in your first heal spell. This is how you're going to use them. You're going to drop them at the first por half portion sorry, 
of the compartment so that this will make sure that they take care of the half portion of it and now when they go to the second half you drop in your second heal spell once all the air defense is down you're going to send in your balloons now you have to prioritize your balloons in taking out the archer tower and the wizard towers first uh, the reason is because the cannons and the mortars they are no threat to your balloons at all so make sure that you also deploy them uh, in a widespread manner so that they don't get taken out by an air bomb or so. Now we have only one archer tower left and with the archer tower down the base is almost gone. Look at how many troops that I have left to take care of the base. So remember to drop in the rest of your troops so that you don't risk running out of time. Just be careful of those uh, corner buildings as well. That's it, a uh, 3 star. Alright guys, let us look at another example. First, we're going to run through the checklist again. And the first question is, is all the air defense in a single compartment of war? Which is a yes in this case. Is the quad kick able to create an open path to the compartment with air defense? If you look at the position at the 12 o'clock here at the wizard tower, if you drop a quad quick, it's going to create a wide opening enough to send your wild crease in. That is a yes for the second case. And the third case is, is funneling possible in this case. Look at all the junk buildings at the north here there are actually not many buildings so if you send in your golems from the north position or the tropical position here they're gonna create enough tanking for your wizards to take out all these junk buildings and your valkyries will go straight in into the core so there's a big yes for a govalo attack on this base so we're gonna start this attack with the cc lure and a cc kill we're gonna do this with a hawk to trigger them then gonna pull them up while pulling them to 12 o'clock position I drop in my earthquake spell unfortunately one of my spell actually went south I don't know what happened there no 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 when how I decided to move on and to go according to the plan drop in the rest of my earthquake spell and go in for the CC kill so my only hope here is to send in my Barbarian King and my Valkyries. Hopefully that they will find a way into the target compartment. So I send in my Wizards for the CC kill. Once they're taken care of, I send in my Golems. I make sure that they are wide enough so that they can fully protect my Wizards. And the Wizards go in now to take out those trash building and create that funneling. Once that I'm sure the funneling is created, I send in my Barbarian King together with Valkyries. Unfortunately, I believe they didn't take uh, the shortest route. They in fact went slightly to the 10 o'clock position. But luckily, anyhow, they still managed to find a way to go into the core. One thing I like about Valkyries are they're not afraid of enemy heroes, they're not afraid of skeleton trap, they're not afraid of defenses. They just go in there, swing their axe, and boom, all of them just gone in a second. So eventually they did make it into the core. So you're going to drop in your first heal spell here, covering the first portion, half portion of compartment. This will make sure that they can survive and take out town hall and any air defense within the area. While they are moving to the second half of the portion, you're gonna drop in. Sorry, you're gonna drop in your second heal spell, thanks to the December 2015 update. Once all the air defense are down, you're gonna start sending in your balloons. Now, the reason why you don't send them in a pack is because of this. Notice that all the traps there. If I were to send in my balloons in a group, those air bombs are going to cause a lot of damage to them. And this is what you want to avoid. That's why make sure you don't send them in a group. Make sure you spread them wide enough so that they can cover the entire base and they don't get taken out by a group of air bombs. With around 12 level 5 balloons at your disposal, you shouldn't have any problem getting rid of all those defenses. So with the last Archer Tower and Wizard Tower taken out, should be getting your 3 star now. Notice how many troops that you have left and how overpowered this attack is. Even though with the initial screw up, I still managed to turn it around and get a perfect 3 star. 
That's it guys, hopefully this video will help you in your future attacks and getting more 3 star. Uh, anytime that in war, if you see a base that has a similar design with all the air defense in the same compartment, open this video again, refer to the checklist and repeat all the same sequence of attack and celebrate your 3 stars. Now if you have any questions about this attack, please leave your comments below and of course subscribe to our channel for more upcoming 3 star attack strategies. Thank you for watching, I'm Keith and see you soon.